Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my brand new Let's Play here on YouTube. Um, yes, it's finally here. Um, right here, if you see the gray in here, that's actually the capture window for uh, the game we're going to be playing. So if that looked a little odd, then just know that that's normal. But today, we are starting Let's Play Wave Race 64. This is a... I think a launch title, actually, for the Nintendo 64, or it was at least really close to launch. And uh, it's obviously a racing game. You're on jet skis. Um, pretty sure there's, like, trademarks for that, so they couldn't use that in the title or anything. Um, but yeah, Wave Race 64, it's obviously a sequel to the Game Boy game, which I've never played. Didn't really look interesting at all, so probably won't play it to be honest, but yeah, that is a thing. Um, getting this game, I decided to actually get a copy of this. I originally just had a wad of this over on my Wii, and I completely pirated it. I kind of wanted to have an actual copy of the game. So I went ahead and shelled out some money. I paid like $13 or something for a cartridge, and this um, it came in it was the wrong game. It was NASCAR 99. Yeah. NASCAR 99. And I uh, was a little pissed. I was going to contact the seller and just be like, hey, you sent me the wrong game. Like, what the hell? But um, I decided not to do that. I just, I actually have the game still just sitting in my basement. So it's just another 64 game that I have. And uh, I decided to just buy, or just pay more money to get wave race so i got two 64 games really only meant to get one but i guess it's fine i did end up actually getting my copy of wave race thank god <laughs> so um i can finally start this lp and um yeah so this game is pretty short but it's a very good game i will uh tell you that so don't worry you're in for a fun ride and uh you won't regret it Trust me, you will not regret it. Um, I, think I, need to, I, need, I don't think there's anything else I need to say, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the game up here. Yes, there it is, folks. Wave Race 64. And this is a no-bullshit LP. This is on an original system. So if you thought this was actually a pirated copy, it is not. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I don't know why I decided to go out and get an actual copy of the game. It just kind of came to mind that it'd be nice to own it, I guess. So I went out and bought it. And, um... Yeah, I don't want that yet. Not yet. Just chill out, game. Don't don't do anything too crazy. Um. So yeah, this is a racing game for the Nintendo 64. Um, and it's obviously water-based. Um, I remember I saw this originally. I only played this for the first time like a couple months ago, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And um. I know there is a sequel to this on the GameCube, but I decided I'd try this one out. I remember when I was really young, like when YouTube was relatively new still. It keeps doing that. I don't want it to. Um, but yeah, when the when YouTube was relatively new, I saw somebody upload 
a video of this, and I thought it looked pretty cool. And I always wanted a copy of it, but... At the time, we were trying... Actually, no, I think we already had a GameCube. I think we were trying to get games for it, though. Or at least I was trying to get games. And if I'd bought this, I wouldn't have had any new games. So, it was just kind of like, well, okay, I guess I'll have to stick with, you know, saving up for new games. And, um, yeah, I finally got a chance to check this out. But, yeah, I remember seeing videos of this, thinking it looked really really good for Nintendo 64. Like, I almost didn't want to believe it was on the 64. I kind of almost wanted to believe it was like an early GameCube game or something. Um, looking back, it does not really look like a GameCube game at all. And, uh, in fact, the GameCube Wave Race looks way, way better than this. Trust me on that. It looks miles better. Um, this is a 1996 game, of course. Um, Championship. Uh, this is like Grand Prix mode, essentially, except it's a bit long. I think it's like eight races uh, each difficulty. There's normal, hard, expert, and there's a reverse stage. Uh, reverse mode, where you go backwards through all the stages, but you have to unlock that. And um, I guess uh, I have not touched any data, by the way, so I guess the previous owner of this just never unlocked uh, reverse which is uh, which is fine I unlocked it over on the WiiWare version and uh, yeah it, it, it was a bit of work but then again I was playing with a GameCube controller not on an actual system so might have had something to do with it you have time trials which is just like what you have in Mario Kart and stuff like that you're just on individual tracks trying to get the best time. Stunt mode, this is like a little bonus score mode. Uh, two player versus, we're not going to be doing that because I don't have a second player. <laughs> I have I have more than two controllers, but I don't have anybody to play with. And then options, which I'm actually going to go into right now. I don't know why, I just really like this song. Just take a listen here. I, I, I don't know. I, it's nothing big, but something about that song is just really nice. And, um, okay, anyway, I've changed names. Uh, this is for vehicles. Um, yes, these are the names that the owner of this game chose. We have Bond, Maggie, Q Branch, and fat guy. Um, yeah, those are, uh, I mean, you can change the names. I don't remember what uh, the original names were off the top of my head. I could probably put them in the description or something, but yeah, um, the previous owner changed them up, and um, nothing I can do about that. It's not a big deal, though. Uh, you can view your records. This is like time trial records. Uh, time score. This is like the the stunt mode, I think. Yeah, stunt mode. Looks like this guy grinded for points at least. Um, or I don't know. I figured he did. Maybe not. Yeah, he's got scores. It looks like. Um, as I snoop through all his high scores. But hey, I do own the game. I gave him my money. The game is mine. So I am legally allowed to do that. Um, yeah, I guess have a look at this guy's random scores. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Um, he also has times on all these, uh, stages, tracks. I don't know if these are good or bad or anything like that. Um, oh, yeah, score, time ranks. I guess I can just go up and down. Um, yeah, I never really got into time trialing this game when I tried it out. Um, and this is all, again, recently. I never played this game when I was younger, even though I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I never got into time trialing really too much. I probably will during this LP, though. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't, you know. Kind of seems like I should, because it is a part of the game, and I'm trying to do everything I can in it. So, you know... Um, those are just records. Uh, conditions? 
Um, hold on. So, why does he have this set on four laps? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm leaving this all default. What the heck? Okay, this guy decided to customize everything. This is supposed to be three laps, not... Three laps, yep. I guess this guy wanted to make it a bit harder. We're not going to do that, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, default, yep. That looks all good. Can't mess with Expert, because that's not unlocked. Or it is, but he, I guess, didn't beat it. It is pretty tricky, so I don't really blame him. Uh, stereo, yep, that's good. Music on. Uh, I'll just leave that on zero. I don't think we need any louder than it already is by default. I do not want to erase records, um, at least right now. Actually, do I? Nah, I don't really want to do that. What's save and load? Oh, that's for a controller pack. Yeah, I don't have a controller pack for this. Well, I mean, I do, but it wouldn't have any data on it, so no point. Um, anyway, that's just all this stuff there. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to this. Basically, I don't know if I'm even gonna... Should I do anything? Yeah, I guess I'll do the warm-up. If you go into normal, there's a little warm-up you can play. Um, it only shows up on, uh, the normal difficulty. Uh, yeah, we'll do the warm-up, why not? But only the warm-ups. You have four, um, jet skis you can choose from. Watercrafts, I guess, is what they call them. Um, <laughs> normally these would be named after movie characters. I'm pretty sure, I heard this game was basically, like, based off of a movie. And uh, each character was a character in the movie. I couldn't find anything on what movie it was. So I can't really confirm that that's true. But, you know. If you do if you do know that that's a fact and you know stuff about it, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But, yeah, you have normal settings. So, you know, your handling, engine, you know, whether it's just, you know, top end or, you know, whatever. And then your group, your grip, whether it's loose or tight, affects your turning and whatnot. Um, you can customize these. So this guy already had this customized a bit. Um, yeah, like that. Yeah, I might, I might adjust them to something else. I did have some settings over on my version of the game, or the the Wii version of the game. So I might just bring those over here because they seem to work for me there. Um, who do we want? Uh, this is the fastest vehicle. I don't think we want that. A lot of people, by the way, think this is the fastest vehicle. So did I when I started playing, but it actually isn't. It's actually <laughs> Mr. Fat Guy over here, whatever the hell he is normally called. Uh, how about we go with Maggie? Also, if you think, yeah, if you hold up on the D-pad, there's alternative colors for each of these. So you can see this one turns blue, this one turns yellow, this one turns kind of a red color. I'm going to go with Maggie for now. Um, I'm going to go normal settings on her. Um... Welcome to Dolphin Park. When you do the uh, warm up, it by default puts you on Dolphin Park, so uh, yeah, you can't really change that. Warm up time. Follow that dolphin. Okay, follow that dolphin. Yes, warm up time. You press A to accelerate, of course. Uh, you know, use the analog stick to control your vehicle. And you can basically, you're supposed to follow this stupid dolphin, wherever the hell he is. Um, you should, yeah, here he is. Here's the dolphin. Um, yeah, there he is. Look at that. What a beast. Um, you're supposed to follow him, but that's not really any fun, so 
We're gonna ignore him and just kind of stroll around here. Press up and down on the control stick to lean the rider forward. Let's see. What can you do? What was I gonna? Oh yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so you can use the C stick here, the C buttons to control the camera. So right here is kind of the nice zoomed out view, kind of the default view. This is the view I tend to use. It's more zoomed in on the character, but you can still see just about everything around you. Um, then you go in further, kind of just zooms right in on the character, and it's kind of just focused right on the vehicle. And then you can go even further, and it just focuses on what's in front of your watercraft. So this is what I see a lot of speedrunners using. I personally like to use this though whenever I play. Um, yeah, so this is basically you're just in this kind of uh, marina-ish area. You have these um, kind of uh, ramps here. You can do like these really wacky tricks off of them. I kind of forget how you're supposed to do them. Um, if you like, hold on, go on this, go all the way left, and then no. That's not, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. I don't know, you can do like tricks in the air though. I think like, uh, I think it's like, just hold on. Maybe it's left and then quickly go right. There you go, holy crap. That is what I'm talking about. Holy crap. Yes, that is a trick. You really want to learn to do those. When you do the stunt mode, those count for points, and there are points that you want, so definitely learn them. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a fairly short game, so um, that's kind of sad, you know? I really like the game, but it's kind of just over in the blink of an eye, sort of. Okay, I fell off my watercraft. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Uh, you can go underneath these little huts here, kind of cool. Uh, obviously, if you hit an obstacle, you kind of get stunned for a moment. If you hit them really hard, you fall off your watercraft, like if I do... No, not that. But if I, like, ram into one of these huts, it should throw me off. No? Oh, um... Yeah, going on land, if you do this... Oh. Normally that just automatically counts you out of bounds, but I guess not right there. Um, but yeah, don't go off uh, out of the water and onto land. That's not a good idea. I could probably show you right now. Hold on. I don't know why I want to do this. Oh yeah, if you go outside the buoys, you obviously are counted out of bounds. Uh, you do get a countdown though. I think the water here looks really good for a Nintendo 64 game. Like, this might be... Oh. <laughs> retire. <laughs> yeah, we retired. Um, That's not what I... No, I don't want to go championship. No, 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 no. No, I do not want the championship. <laughs> the championship is obviously the Grand Prix. We do not want that yet. Um, But, yeah. Uh, just when you do the warm-up, it's really just to get acclimated with the controls and whatnot. You know, what to expect when you're actually racing. Welcome to um, what you saw, retire, basically means you give up. So, um, you saw me messing with settings. There's uh, a little strike counter. And uh, you're basically, during an actual championship, there's these buoys set up. There's red and yellow ones. You have to go either to the left or to the right of them. There will be an arrow indicating which way to go. If you miss a buoy, you get one strike, five strikes, and you're done. And you automatically retire. Now, during a Grand Prix, you're going to need a specific number of points to actually advance to the next race. So if you don't meet the point requirement, then you're pretty much done. You just lose. The, the entire championship will be over at that point. Um, okay, here's one thing that's really helpful. When you're on ramps, spam the B button 
Not like that. Spam the B button and you go really low. It's like a low trick, sort of. Uh, it just kind of draws you to the water. And also, if you are going over waves, it helps you stick to the water better. So you're not flying up in the air and losing speed. Uh, obviously, if you do that, it takes longer to complete the race. The quicker you complete the race, the better. The problem is the computers do cheat in this game. You know, they rubber band. They recover from, like, falling ridiculously fast. You know, probably twice as fast as they actually should be able to. Which is a bit ridiculous, but it adds to the difficulty, which is why I like it. But at the same time, it's really annoying. Like, you can just be right about to finish the race, and one of the computers will just pass you. And it's like you should have won, but you just didn't. Um, I don't know. That's just some random stuff about the game. I really like this. You got the palm trees. I'm sure back in the 90s, this probably was the most realistic game that you really had. Like, the closest you had to real life in a video game. It was probably this. Um, yeah. This game is five years older than me, in case you're wondering. So, uh... When I was playing 64 games, the GameCube was already out, so they were already kind of obsolete, outdated. But I still enjoy the games, you know? I grew up playing a lot of 64, Super Nintendo, so... Kind of have a soft spot in me for those. Um, the waves here aren't too... Actually, the waves here are pretty calm, believe it or not. Later on, the waves will become insane, so beware. Uh, when we do the championship, that is a thing. Um, the thing with the, s the dolphin, it randomly just gets stuck on things. It's really stupid. It's like, which way do you want me to go, man? You're just kind of sitting there. Then I'm randomly just going around, and then he just randomly is like, "Oh, uh, no, 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 no! I don't, I don't want to go there." No, and he just kind of turns around. Uh, whatever. Not a big deal, but kind of annoying, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, this is a very fun game. Uh, this is Dolphin Park. I don't, you don't actually race on Dolphin Park at all. I think it's just kind of a uh, warm-up course, and you can do it in stunt mode be on this course in stunt mode, but I don't think you can time trial or actually play on this track, like during a normal championship. I'm pretty sure it doesn't come up. Uh, if you're actually wondering, I did not actually beat this game um, when I played it on the Wii. I actually got the reverse championship unlocked, but I never actually beat it, so... Yeah, this will be a first time actually beating the game for me. Um, yeah, what I really like about Dolphin Park is they kind of mix a bunch of elements you're going to find within the game, and it's all just kind of thrown into one giant kind of arena sort of setting. Not really, but, you know, it's just all thrown into one tight space, and I think it works really well that way. Um... Is there anything else I can really say right now? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm probably going to leave this guy's data on here. I don't really see a reason to erase it. Um, no real reason to keep it, but no real reason to delete it. So I think I'll just go ahead and leave it. Um, yeah, if you quit, if you pause here, continue, start the race will take you to the... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll take you to the actual championship, so we don't want to do that right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and quit the game, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. But yes, this has been your warm welcome to Let's Play Wave Race 64, a launch title for the Nintendo 64, a very solid game, actually my opinion so uh, I would recommend you actually check this game out if you get the chance uh, you may want to watch the rest of this let's play before you actually make that choice for yourself uh, that's fine but I would recommend the game for sure for into racing games it is very fun and um, 
yeah, it's a pretty solid game. It has some issues, you know, the graphics aren't that great compared to the Switch or PS4 or anything like that, but um, it still looks okay. I mean, for a Nintendo 64 game, it really doesn't look bad at all. Um, but yeah, uh, basically how this is going to work is for the championships, I'm just going to do one championship per video. So you can expect that. And then for time trialing, I'll probably just show that off kind of randomly. Just randomly play whatever course I feel like doing. And we're just going to kind of go for records on them, essentially, is how that's going to work. And, um, yeah, that's kind of what you can expect for uh, this Let's Play of Wave Race 64. Um, yeah, next time we will get into the normal championship, the very first one. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.